Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world of electronics. I have an old TV here and I'm going to see what I can salvage out of this to use in electronics projects and experiments. I have to figure out is this metric or standard. Alright, it's a standard. So, um, we've got a bunch of TVs that came with the house and uh, first of all I can get this out of the way. Huh? The TVs are never going to be used as a TV in our home. Therefore, I'll see if there's a bunch of electronics in here I can salvage and use for my projects. And antennas, you never know, might be usable for something, so I'll put that aside. Anyway, I'm going to pop off this case and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Alright, I got the screws out. Let's pull this off this side. Now, there's going to be a lot of really good stuff in here. Um, I have to be careful and find a main capacitor and short it out. Because that can cause some serious pain. Oh, there's a speaker. I don't have any speakers in my new electronics lab, so that's good. Um, um, resistors, the high wattage. Those are good. Ceramic resistors here. Here's a set of screw-on terminals. Always good for projects and hobbies and experiments. And it's electrically isolated from one another. Of course, all the screws and stuff. All good stuff. And those are soldered on. So we'll get our cutter here. No need to save that wire there, so we'll just cut that off. These big pliers are a little bit overkill, I think, for the project. I think I'll go get my uh, end cutters. So there we've got some resistors and capacitors. We've got some terminals here, um, plus a screw frame. That's always good and usable in my lab, anyway. I'll put my parts over here. So I'm going to look this over a minute figure out where to proceed next because I don't want to hit that. If there is a capacitor, I certainly don't want to hit it. And there's always a capacitor in there. Warning. Death warnings. That's just hanging out in there for the technicians. So I'm going to go get my side cutters and uh, check this out. I already see a toroid that I want to use right there. Perfect. All right. And there's a good old power transistor. That's, you can use them for the Bedini motor. Um, there's certain ones that are more that are better uh, suited, but these work. Uh, a lot of potential or potentiometers, variable resistors, very good stuff. Um, the tuner section, I'm not sure. There's some more pots up inside there. So what I'm going to do is I'll get the side cutters. I'm going to pull this board out and pull the wire off to the coil here off the TV coil and uh, we'll see what all we can salvage. I'm going to make pretty quick work of this once I get started. Got a few of the wires cut. I got the board slid out. I'm proceeding with caution because I haven't got to the capacitor yet which is down inside here. And I really want to save these wires on the tube for some projects I have going on here. So one at a time without touching anything else, I cut these wires. You gotta be careful when working with old electronics because those capacitors can hold a serious amount of power. So you would use uh, insulated tools and work with caution. Okay. Now there's that. There's the, uh, I pulled the um, circuit board off the tube here. I pulled the high voltage lines off the the tube, right? And then I've got this whole circuit board full of electronics. I already see a lot of good stuff I can use here. Um, the transformer, that's um, 24 kilovolts transformer. So that'd be probably like a 110 volt AC step up to 24 kilovolt transformer. That's definitely fun to use in some high voltage experiments, all right? Definitely something I'm going to keep. There's another um, 
power resistor. Um, there's a lot of potentiometers in here. A lot. There's a lot of ceramic capacitors. There's a couple more little power transistors in here. I'm not going to save everything. There's going to be an EEPROM. Um, but, you know, I'm going to save what I can find that's usable out of here and make quick work of it. I do want the wire off this tube, so that's going to be my next step is to undo the uh, this setup here. So I have this separated. The circuit board is out. And I'm going to set that off to the side. I think, though, I'm going to find a screwdriver I don't care about and short those... Uh, terminals out so I don't have to worry about any high voltage from that so we'll be back in a couple minutes well that was not a very high powered TV if you look at the size of the wires coming out of this these are tiny little wires so the AC power cord ran through the toroid to and this was the power coming into the TV these tiny tiny little wires that's it just these tiny little things ran the whole TV that thin. That is pretty surprising. So this was a good working TV but I don't use normal TVs at all and uh, you can't give them away these days so I figured I'd salvage the electronics out of them. Just wanted to share with you once I got that wire off I was so surprised at this tiny size of that. Okay I got the uh, coil off metal some heavy ceramic I think that's ceramic that's heavy better it's the core okay that's plastic the core is heavy whatever that is made of but um, hopefully I can pry off the glue gently and salvage all that wire unless it's varnished on there I'm not sure we'll have to see but there's some serious amount of wire there in two coils so two or three anyway I'll put that aside for later there's a whole mess of wire that hopefully I can do something with at one point and I've got the circuit board here with some parts that I'm actually going to salvage right away there's uh, I want I definitely want the high voltage coil I hope you can see with this clearly there is another transformer down here and there's another little choke down here like I said, there's some power transistors. There's a lot of power resistors on here. And a lot of potentiometers. Variable resistors. Very, very good stuff. Um, all kinds of them in through here. It's all variable resistors all through here. Um, this is actually an adjustable choke. And I think these are here. These are adjustable chokes, which is pretty cool. Adjustable coils. Uh, looks like another coil on down in there. Another couple power transistors. Um, some stuff that I actually always keep. I always keep that type of stuff. So, and a power capacitor. This powerful big capacitor. I'll put that aside. For now, I'm going to clear off my tabletop. By the way, there's a tuner. I don't know if there's anything I want to keep in that or not. There's not really much. Oh, there's a couple of potentiometers. But, um... I don't think there's too much I want to waste my time with on that. That'll probably go out. But now the, uh, the uh, oh, and there's a mess of wires. Um, most of it's single strand, so it's good for hookup wire for electronics. Very good stuff. I always keep wire. I, I'm always searching for wire. And another good thing is the knobs for potentiometers for projects, and they're good shape. They're clean. So uh, that's something I always looking for so there's some good usable stuff here the tube I can take it out and shoot it watch it implode for fun and then uh, then everything is normal garbage minus the electronics board now you can dispose of this in a normal garbage all right so um, you definitely have to implode the tube though before you do so hey guys all right what I've got is a uh, high voltage Capacitor, 200 volts, 600 microfarad. Always useful in experiments. I've got three potentiometers here. I've got four pots here. Also very good. I might even end up using this in one of my Benini projects. We'll see. I've got a um, 
three coil transformer. I've got three power resistors. There's more, but I've got three for now. I've got the toroid coil. I've got the little fuse holder. I've got a uh, power cord, which I'll probably use with the transformer at some point or another. I've got my uh, dials for the other potentiometers that were on the uh, faceplate. That's right. There were some pots over here that I have to uh, free up. Not a big deal. What else? I've got the high voltage transformer, 24,000 volt transformer, which I will definitely find a use for. Um, somebody showed me recently a link uh, or a suggested uh, wood burning using high voltage. So that might be fun to try this out with wood burning and see what happens there. Anyway, got a bunch of uh, bolts and fasteners and different types of nuts. And I have a whole mess of electronics on the circuit board yet that I'll probably free up from time to time. I always just put these aside and um, take stuff off as needed. Like I might need one of the high voltage capacitors here or something one day. Never know. 200 volt capacitors. Those are always good to have. Uh, maybe the chokes might be useful or something. There's a lot of parts on this yet. And then there's the transistors. So um, that's all good. I got the speaker. Good for different experiments. Always good to have a speaker. Although it does have a dent in it. I don't know what that was about. Um, what else we got? We got the fasteners here. Very good. I've got another bit of, of uh, electronics here with some uh, another power resistor and some um, transistors. Might find something useful there. So got some cool things I can use on projects and all for a little bit of time and effort for some free electronics and oh yeah all the fastening wire good stuff very good there's another dial so all the connecting wire um, most exciting I think for me was the transformer and the resistors because these are actually uh, one of the most expensive little electronic components you can get and uh, I need them from time to time for some of my projects. All right, guys, that's it. How uh, you find uh, some salvageable electronics in an old TV. You can't give it away. You can't throw it away. Might as well recycle it. Try from the do-it-yourself world electronics. Talk to you all later.